Welcome to the grand opening event here at Silver Spot Cinemas. It is about 10 months after it's officially opened, but they're doing a grand opening ceremony as well as um, also showcasing the brand new Dolby Atmos theater that they have in auditorium number 13. So we're gonna take a tour around, see some of the foods, the drinks, and presentation of the Dolby Atmos as well. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're kept up to date of all different types of videos here on Fat 1010, the Everything channel. Make sure to give it a like and please share with others. Thank you so much. I mix both strawberry and mango. And then my favorite drink, of course, a Long Island iced tea. And we got some more appetizers here and popcorn. And now we're going to a presentation of Dolby Atmos. Dolby's been 
long associated with audio. We've innovated in the cinema space for over 40 years now. And we're in a unique position that practically no other company occupies. Part of our research effort that's been going on over the past few years was how can we move sound beyond what we've been able to do today uh, and what would that look like? So when we look at the evolution of sound in film and cinema, we started off with mono. Then we moved to stereo. We added two more speakers and created two more channels. Then it was the evolution and introduction of surround sound that we were able to actually put sounds all around the audience. Then with 5.1, we were able to split the room in half and now have a left surround and a right surround to allow us to have more sense of movement of sound across the audience. With 7.1, we split the room again into four. So now we had left, right, back wall, left, back wall, right. Logic would make sense that the next progression would be like a 9.1 or an 11.1 or even a 13.1. But the feedback that we got from content creators was it wasn't gonna be good enough. And that's when we knew we had to make a more bolder step in moving forward. So what if we could start again? What if we could go back and completely redefine how we bring the surround sound experience to audiences? So what Dolby's bringing now is the next generation surround format for the industry. With a channel-based solution as we have today, if I wanted to create a sensation of movement, it's either here or here. So it gives you the sensation of movement, but it doesn't have that precision of movement. So the fundamental shift in what's happening is that now we're migrating away from channels. The ability to move the sound through the room now with objects creates this precision movement, which is referred to as a pan through array. Now the helicopter has that fluid movement of hitting speaker number one, speaker number two, speaker number three, speaker number four, and then having that precision as it goes around me in the auditorium. And now by placing speakers over the audience, we can truly create that immersive sound field that now makes it feel like the helicopter is literally buzzing over your head. Overhead surrounds, for the first time, adds that upper hemisphere of sound that we've been missing from films. As a moviegoer, you already realized as you go to your local complex, every room is different. Their size, geometry, stadium seating, and if you're putting surround speakers in there, it creates some challenges as to how you can position them so that you can get uniform coverage throughout the seating area. As we deliver this next technology, that is where it really shines by being able to accurately portray in all these different room sizes, geometry, speaker feeds. It's a radical shift from anything we've ever done before. For theater owners, their primary concern as always is how can I get more people to come to my theater? But now with this better technology of surround sound and sound over the audiences, that now gives them something to leverage bringing people back into the theater. With Dolby's new technology, we're literally building a pipeline for the industry and we're gonna be future-proofing the exhibitor by providing them this technology which will sit with them for a significant period of time. So what we're doing is really a huge fundamental shift in the way audio is not only mixed, but also perceived inside your theaters. And it's really a huge change from 5.1 to 7.1. That was only an incremental change. And that what we're giving you the capability of providing now, it's enormous. The ability to have pinpoint precision, the ability to have these sounds wherever they need to be and over the audience for the first time is a real differentiator that hasn't happened before. It's all about the excitement of what audiences will experience, but also just the amount of excitement that you get from a content creator when you walk them through some of the things that we've done and seeing how excited they were about this, then, then that's definitely worth it. listening to where cinematic audio has been.
because we are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? from the back, to all the way in front, arcs overhead, or there's anywhere in between. Today, we will feel every dimension. How does that sound? Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio, with powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. Soundscape sits the mood of a scene. Come on, you guys, let's go. Or captures the full extent My secret. of nature's fury. Water and uh, chocolate at every table. One of us now, except with higher boobies. So just finished watching the long shot. Now, the, the auditorium that I saw it in did not have the Atmos, but it did have the laser projection. I have to say, laser projection is beautiful. Take a little look into the men's restroom. It's really nice, and it's kind of like an optical illusion when you're walking in. Look at this. Look at that. That's like. It's really awesome. And let's just take a look inside one other auditorium just to get a feel for it. So it's a pretty big screen. Now there are steps like this, um, and if somebody was, let's say, wheelchair bound or something, you can't always go up to the floor above. So if we're on the third floor, what you would do is you would go up to the fourth floor, and then you would just gain access. Let's just take a look real fast, because I didn't see how that works. You would come up to the fourth floor, for example, you know, whatever floor you're on, you go one floor up, and just let them know that you need to gain access that way. And then you have, let's see here, other entryway here so there's room here for, put a wheelchair for example and you'll be at this level very nice and I 
think the door's on this side. We should be on level four. Okay. And here we go, auditorium number two. Each floor seems to be the same setup as far as this uh, restaurant, bar, lounge area. And you can also download their app and then order everything and have it delivered to your seat as well. And it said that you have to order within the first one hour of the movie. I parked over in there at the bank. That is the garage. All those what look like plus signs. And I'm not looking forward to driving down that driveway. You'll see why in a little bit. I never videoed it going up. And if you go to the movie theater, at this, at this particular garage, the Southeast uh, National Bank, I believe it's what it's called, you get your ticket validated and it's $10 for the whole parking. So just pay down here and go ahead and pay. Please pay. Oh, there's the uh, Metro Mover. So we have a Metro Mover and a Metro Rail. The Metro Mover just goes around, kind of like it looks like a little bus, and it just goes around the downtown Miami section. The Metro Rail goes around a much larger area of Miami. I'm holding the GoPro. I'm tapping it. Tap the GoPro, so that, that gives you any idea. Here's the car. Here's me, hi. Okay, so let's see how this works. So we come up through here. Again, you have to have it prepaid. There's nobody here. So you have to have it all prepaid. Thank you for your business. What? Please drive safely. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. I didn't put it in anything. Maybe it's later on that you put it? Oh boy. Now, keep, <laughs> it looks like there's nothing like I went down at that end. Oh boy, here we go. This is so crazy. Okay. And this, and, and I don't mean just a little bit. It keeps going and going and going. It actually feels a little bit easier going down. Going up was crazy. I, I couldn't really see the road. You can see all the scrapes on the walls because people hit the walls. That one's got tires up there. <laughs> How the sure. hell did they do that? Wait, this didn't seem as bad as when I went up. It was worse going up by a lot. Wait, don't you have to go to the right? I don't know. That Is looks it, like an exit wait, that way. We went. We I'm not going to the right. If I can get out this way, I'm going out this way. <laughs> <laughs> 